don't forget to subscribe for more reviews. Please also like. Thank you. Hello there everyone, Tom here again, and today we have the privilege of taking a look at the Infinite Transformation IT-02. This is their version of a KO, uh, or this is a KO of the Masterpiece Dinobot figure. Uh, this is the box it comes in. There isn't really an, another box. This is, this is kind of it. And if you couldn't tell, I got it from Shozy. Uh, here's the, here he is in his plastic clamshell. There's it was weird that this was the way that it was packaged but you know what i'm not going to argue with it i just wanted to figure i know this is an older figure i also know that i am far from the first person empty box to re pardon me to review this figure so oh <laughs> you know what sometimes with the ko you just don't know what you're going to get Looks like we have a stand here. Instructions. Ooh, full color instructions too. All right. Uh, more parts to the stand. His tail. Uh, the golden disc, which you still have sprue marks on. I'll show this off a little bit better here in a little bit. Clear plastic piece. Clear plastic piece. I beams that are clear plastic. Okay. Clear plastic piece. Uh, his sword here, which is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I love that paint. Why don't I zoom in here for just a second? We get this head right here which is, I don't know, normal face. We, we get this face, which is an angry face. We get this face, which is an evil smiling face. And I don't know, I've got a little bitty plastic piece here, clear plastic. And now for the figure himself. Let's get that cellophane out of the way. Or not cellophane, pl clear plastic. All right, initial impressions. Does he have light up eyes? Because those are, those are dead. You all see that? I don't know, does he have light up eyes? I don't feel a button or anything to push. I'll have to check that out because that's just, that's just awful. If that's the way his eyes look, that's just absolutely awful awful um i don't like that at all yes he does have some type of light up feature interesting uh let's take us a, a quick peek here you know what i'll fight with that later let's put on a uh let's put on one of these additional faces we're gonna make him happy so there he is happy. Okay, coming down the figure, he seems awful chunky. I don't know, um, different, different, different. The head is absolutely, I, I, I love the head. It can roll, rotate all the way around, look up that far, look down all the way if you need to, you, you kind of break the connection, but this is beautifully painted, beautifully sculpted. We have the nice little gold there. Arms can go all the way around. Ratchet joint, he can go all the way up. That's great. Any bicep? Yes, really tight, but he does have a bicep rotation. Ratcheted elbow, which gets you a nice range. His hands are articulated. So that's great. These two appear to be on a single knuckle. So just be mind, you can't see. These two appear to be on a single knuckle, so just be mindful of that. Coming down the figure, does he have a waist swivel? 
Yes, man alive, it is tight, tight, tight. Hopefully that'll loosen up a little bit. No ab crunch that I can feel. If he has it, it's just so tight I can't tell. Beautiful detailings. The legs can only go out that far forward and back. He can do the full Chinese splits, but obviously you saw he could not do the American splits. Um, thigh rotation, you get a double thigh rotation. Uh, it's built around this universal joint and around the knee joint. Double jointed knee. Yeah, that's double, well, my apologies. That's a single jointed ratcheted knee gets you that far. And the feet can go up that far down that far, and he has a very good rocker. So yeah, this, this works just fine, um, at least as far as I can tell. Let's see, how does he hold this weapon? He has a handle right here, and there is a hole in his palm right here. I imagine it will go in there if it is tolerated properly. That's actually a screw hole. You know what, that works just fine. So he can hold his sword, no problemo. If I remember right, this is like some kind of, this should split and become a, like a shield or something, shouldn't it? Shouldn't it? Uh, it's not wanting to. Hmm. Let me, uh, let me play with this and see exactly what I need to see here. Because it looks like it splits all the way there. Hmm. Ah, it's just a matter of, I guess, holding your jaw the right way, as, as my papa used to say. How far down does this thing go? I don't know. Um, let me play with this and see what I can come up with, because it, oh, there we go, okay. So yeah, that'll split all the way just like this. So yeah, and I'm sure he can hold that in his palm too. And I'm sure there's a way to like fold this up and, and make it the appropriate size or something. I don't know, I, I haven't ever messed with this figure, so I'm just kind of going on what I think might be, right, wrong, or sideways. Let's see if it'll fit real quick. That opens up all the way. That fits right in there. Does it rotate? Looks like it's supposed to. Interesting, okay. Feels like it's supposed to. There may be a release button somewhere or something. I'll play with this, figure it out. All right, so let's do scale comparisons and then we'll go into transformation. But before we do that, he's measuring in at right about nine and a half inches to the top of his head. Shoulder to shoulder, we're gonna call it at four and a half. Depth wise, uh, let's call it three. So he's a hefty little feller. All right, uh, like I said, let's get into scale comparison and transformation next. Alright folks, um, I am sorry this review is not going to go as uh, long or have the transformation as I, I wanted it to be, you know, a full length review and I've run into a little bit of an issue. That would be uh, that his arm literally fell off during the initial transformation. Not only that, um, I have some severe stress marks in here and the pin almost came out. Uh, it's, it's hanging on by a prayer and a, a song. Although I was able to get some batteries in it, so his eyes do light up. I mean, that, that's something, I guess. Uh, Y'all can see that, his eyes do light up. Although I will say it was a pain in the tail end trying to get the 
batteries in there and getting them out is a nightmare. Can't recommend this, folks. I think I paid $80 for this at Show Z. Can't recommend it. I haven't had anything I've been this disappointed in, not since the KO. Um, oh, what was it? It was a, it was one of the Autobot cars. I could go back. It was Prowl, the Autobot, or was it the uh, was it Sideswipe? Don't remember. Um, but I remember I put that one in the dryer. I was so pissed off at it. This is this is kind of right up there. So let me tell you, uh, the playability is is non-functional. The materials literally fell apart. The cost the cost wasn't bad, uh, especially when you compare it to, you know, a masterpiece version. Having said that, the very fact that it it's not playable and the materials suck, the cost is not worth it. If this, was, if this was my first Transformer, I don't think I'd buy another one. Um, this is just bad. This is really unfortunate. But, you know what they say, you get what you pay for. And I suppose in this instance, I got what I deserved. I like KOs. I, I've had some excellent luck with KOs. But I suppose, every so often, you're just going to get a bad one. And I guess I got a bad one. I don't know how this reflects on Infinite Transformation. I don't know if their stuff is normally this way. I don't think I have another one of theirs. But that's kind of irrelevant for me at this point. Because this has kind of set the tone for me. I don't think I'll buy another one of theirs. So I guess that means... I had two others that I needed to buy. Uh, the Black Arachnia and the Tigatron. I'd, I'd just been holding off. They weren't first things I was going to buy. So I suppose that means as much as I hate to, I'm going to end up springing full price for them. You know, you get burned sometimes with these KOs. It's a sad thing, but it is true. There's a reason it's a KO. Anyway, don't buy this. Don't buy it. You may have the best luck ever. You could have my luck. I just I can't recommend it and you you literally can see why why Tom ah. see you next time see you at the next review thank you for watching my papa's channel please subscribe and like thank you just so hard, Doctor. After three million years, I suppose it's normal, but... Yes, go on. But the tailpipe emissions, they've become so bad, he's not allowed to transform in the house. Hmm. This is a pretty common issue with bots in their mid-three millions. Fortunately, there is a remedy. What is it, Doctor? I'll pay any price. Why, Vitaminogen. Is your partner complaining about your emissions? Do you backfire with no warning? Do your friends avoid you with stupid excuses you know are fake? Then try Vitamin John today. Try our three-week starter pack, guaranteed to rid you of your emission problems or your money back. What do you have to lose except your stinky emissions? It's amazing, Doctor. He's like a young bot of two million. And we owe it all to Vitamanajon. Yippee! Wow. Vitamin John, operators are standing by. Go now!